All right, so I'm gonna be doing some tightening today. I'm not doing the twisting method. I'm doing interlocking and um, try not to be tight. Um, first, um, moisten the area as much as possible so to reduce friction as we had mentioned before. Same solution, olive oil, rose water, um, and plain water. Um, so we're gonna do some separations not to catch the hair in um, to join the actual locks. This is the um, lock I'll be working with. Um, as you can see, it's not new growth, but um, slippage of the twist. So I'm going to do interlocking so that um, they can stay longer. This is my, uh, my hair, the twist will just unravel um, really fast if I just do um, that method. So I'm gonna do um, pretty much up and down. I'm not doing um, the four point rotation. Um, I'm not really interested in a tiny, tiny lock. I want this to puff up just a bit, not those slim, unhealthy looking locks. So hopefully you see what it is that I am doing. <laughs> Um, I just don't want it to be, so let's see here we go, just right here, there we go. And I need to wait for it from up to down because I want it to lie down straight, so um, that's one look. Good. And do another one. Um, if you want to see, you can see it's nice and tight. Um, in the mirror anyway because that's just awkward so there you go just try not to um, get the other lock in the process weak spots and um, result in the lock breaking. Um, so take your time and proceed. Um, I am not any master at all of this. four weeks or so. Not sure if it's gonna last four weeks because probably gonna need some coloring but yeah that's it. These two are done. I already did um, this section. Let's demonstrate another one. These are really tiny and they're kind of annoying. Um, not sure yet if I will combine some locks so um, we'll see as we go on. I may do a twist back on these too. So let's just see how they actually do mature. Um, let, let's go. So um, I'll be inserting the hair in the needle, um, a little twist around, um, then two point rotation. Um, nothing big, nothing big. You see, there's a lot. It's not growth, it's just that the um, actual um, twist slipped. 
it's not hair growth, it's just uh, slippage. My hair does not grow that fast at all. two in comparison locks that's really close and on she goes all right let's do just finish the roll this right here is a lot of work <laughs> so you're ready for this no do it ready for this that kind of work just do the palm rolling or the twisting method, my child. Just do a little palm rolling, twisting, shinamaru. Do not engage in this fiasco. It is not an easy task at all. The only thing I look forward is to being able to not touch it for four weeks. But the truth of the matter is, when I braided my hair, it was really four weeks, so um, it's not much different. But um, I want to reduce the tension a little bit. Um, so, oops, oopsie doopsie. Locks. It can be frustrating. For watching. Having done this section, um, you can see nicely done. Um, what I'll do is just lightly spray and then um, do a plait. Um, like this plait that I did so um, just put a plait in um, pretty much that's how I achieve the style I wore all this week um, put the plait in so I can get a little weight and wings on the side and um, I get to the end I try not to put it down too far so that I will lose a twist a little curl a little bit of chigamo, chigamo. And then I um, do a little bantu on it. I'm just get some curls because they end up pretty dry. I have to search what I should do about those. So that's one side that's finished. It is more than a little bit fuzzy, but what can I do again? More research. So, um, you know, this section isn't done. Um, I did the um, braid and bend method um, as it relates to washing. So you braid bend the ends um, so the end had a rubber band much like this one. It's tiny one at the end so the actual 
um, twists do not unravel. So, yeah. I'm gonna wash it. I did it at about, I'm gonna wash it at about 2 o'clock and kept the, um, the towel like a t-shirt towel on. Um, let it a bit moderately dry, but when I took it off, it was nice and semi-dry, but the sitting out here in the air has resulted in it being completely dry, so I have to still buy water before um, the tightening process, so it doesn't help with the frizz, but with friction. Uh, so I'm gonna put some water on my roots. So no fancy stuff. Um, as far as I'm reading, the gel costs a lot of build up at your roots and it's difficult to remove so at some point oh well the front ones I had tightened this week which I seriously regret but um yeah I'm not gonna mess with those because I don't wanna lose my edges so you live and you learn so that's my story and try and finish some of these. Um, again, it is a lot of work. And my pookie's being neglected. Oski? Oz? Come here, bud. How are you? Say hi to the people. Say hi, people. Say hello, people. I am neglected. I don't even know where you are. Where are you? There you are. I'm neglected. Hey, bud. And I want to go outside. Can I go outside? All right. In a little bit. Okay? All right, peeps. Say bye. It really wants to go outside, but it's wet, and I'm not interested in that journey, but I guess I'll have to, so. Can we do this one, and I'll be off. I'm on a little doggy adventure. See y'all later. Same thing over and over until I'm done. Nothing new here. Nothing new. Ta-ta. Some hair tightening. Um, I've already completed one portion. Um, I completed this section. I hope you're able to see it, this section. So I'm working on this section over here. Um, and I'm going to just do um, this one here at the end. I hope you're able to see it. I'm going to use my water bottle. Water with this um, tool, which is an interlocking tool. Um, and mostly I'm just doing the, um, not doing a full clockwise motion, I'm just doing um, right to left and um, up and down, I mean, from top to bottom. Yeah. 